Hey, what's up, family and friends? Welcome back to another edition of the Wrap Up Podcast, where we share our thoughts on the latest news, sports, and culture. It's your host, Lenny B. And I appreciate each and every one of you for tapping in with me. Big shout out to those that's hitting that like button, sharing the vibes, subscribing. Remember to put God first. Let's get to the wrap up session. No pressure. Look, I got them blessing. Wonder why I'm feeling extra. Say what it do, what the business is. All right, all right, let's get into it. Uh, can I be real? We family. We friends. Can I be real? Aunt Fani is an arrogant, disrespectful, you know what. Did y'all see how she took the stand today? Nah. Did y'all see how she took the stand today? She act like she ain't do nothing wrong. This lady is dead wrong. And I ain't talking biggie. All I saw today was, oh, she was a strong black woman how she took the stand today. What? Is that what we doing? We not, we not going to hold her accountable for how she was in the pulpit last month? Ever since then, I can't rock with it. You can't go inside of a church and act like you're telling the truth. It don't work like that. You actually have to tell the truth. If you're going to get in the pulpit, tell the truth. You're doing all of that and you and you acting like everything's good. So... Ever since she got into the pulpit, I can't really rock with it. Y'all don't remember? Let me pull it up for you. All right, all right. Let me refresh y'all memory for y'all. Because I know we be forgetting about things. And she really took the opportunity to basically defend her office from the pulpit. As you mentioned, Big Bethel is a historic staple here in Atlanta. It is Atlanta's oldest. She took the time to defend her office from the pulpit out of all places. Do you have no respect, no regard? Black church, that's according to the Atlanta History Center. Now, Willis, she did speak publicly for the first time since she was accused of an improper relationship with one of her special counselors on the Trump election subversion case, and that's Nathan Wade. Now, Willis never confirmed nor denied the allegations yesterday or mentioned names of her special prosecutors on her team, but she did defend them. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump saying at a campaign event he's glad Willis was exposed. She went in, inside of the church to not confirm or deny. What is the purpose of you going in there then? What was the purpose of her doing that? All she was trying to do is what? Play on hearts, play on strings of emotions, and, and get supporters behind the culture. Come on, man. I appointed three special counselors. Is my right to do Paid them. Yes, that is your right to do. All the same hourly rate? Yes, you did pay them all the, the same hourly rate, but how many hours did you give to special prosecutor Nathan Wade? Come on, stop telling the, 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 the little bit of the truth. Okay, yeah, you, you paid them all the, the same hourly rate. Okay, tell the, tell the whole story though. If you're going to get in the pulpit, tell the whole story or stay out. What what would be the purpose of you going in there? Come on. They only attack one. You saw the fanny. It's a reason why they only ta attacked one. Fanny Willis. You saw that deal? Her boyfriend, she gave him a million bucks to go get Trump, right? And then they go on vacation spending the million bucks... 
Now, Willis did go on to say at that service that she is not perfect. She is very flawed, but she says she loves serving the citizens of Fulton County. She has still not yet filed a response to these allegations. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. And so you see, like, she she literally got in the pulpit acting like, you know, she was telling the truth and that she was there f for the support of, of the people in the congregation. And I mean, that's just, just false. That's just false advertisement, false lies, using the church, using God. Like, I mean, what would be the reason to get up there if you're not going to tell the whole truth. Just stay out. So with that, I just feel, I, you know, and I, I see a lot of people, I saw a lot of people today with this. You, you just got to look at it like this. This is not about tearing down a black woman or a woman or minorities Fonnie Willis made a dumb decision hiring her boyfriend, lover, whatever you want to call, you know, their relationship for him to be the special, the, the head special prosecutor for this case. One of the name a bigger case than this and no it ain't the YSL case like this is this case is probably the biggest case ever at least in the last yeah i mean you you would have to put it there you're trying the former president of the united states Tell me that you didn't think that his team was going to come after what you had going on. And you thought that it would be okay to continue this relationship and be going after Trump and his team. His long team of the Republican side, other nations. We saw what happened back in 2016. He has a team. I mean, just think about it. President, former President Trump is literally indicted. No other former president has been indicted. So you know the stakes are high and you chose. It's just bad judgment. And... Like for us to sit here and for her to sit here and think that we as a culture, and this is where it goes back to like, oh, just because she's black, we supposed to support. No, what's wrong is wrong. What's right is right. Yeah, so let, let me see if I can pull up some footage of her taking a stand so we can react to it. All right, let's pull up some funny funny material isn't it true that you met mr wade october 2019 at the judges that, conference we haven't gotten to the point where Ms. willis should be treated also in this I, I think we well, i very Mr. much Lewis. want to be here so i'm not a hostile witness i very much want to be not here. so much that you're hostile miss willis would be an adverse witness your interests are opposed to miss merchants thank you merchants interests are, are controversial Contrary to democracy, Your Honor, not to mine. A Fulton County didn't talk about you know who I started didn't ask how often who is a judge. You know the only copy I have. Does anyone? Hello. I want the one filed on January the eighth, the one filed immediately after we filed ours, and the final one. You see what I'm saying? She feisty. And I understand that you're in the courtroom, but can we can we get some respect going? If you want to take a break to get them, I can make a copy. I think we have one. You know, the only copy I have is going to have my notes on it. So if we don't have a clean copy. We'll have a five minute break during all the documents. Time. All right. I'll sit here and wait for them. I don't know what 
Defense attorneys asked Willis to clear. So, yeah, just in a case like this, you know, they're going to grill her on, you know, when exactly did you meet Mr. Wade? When did you hire him? When did you start, you know, when did y'all start y'all relationship? Just to see if they can catch her up. So they're, they're definitely going to try to puncture that timeline. Argue Willis hired him after the two were involved in a romantic relationship. Let's start back in 2019. Yep. So um, yep. you and Mr. Wade met in October 2019 at a conference? That is correct. And I think in one of your motions, you tried to implicate I slept with him at that conference, which I find to be extremely offensive. I stayed at that conference. Should we be bringing that up? Is, is that in the documents right there? Mr. Wade was my teacher. I did not meet him when he taught the class. I was standing outside talking to Lisa Reeves, who is a judge. Me and her were just having a conversation. Mr. Wade walks up and they hug each other. They have some brief conversation. She introduces us. But Robin Yerdy, Willis's old college friend, told the court earlier the romantic relationship began in October of 2019. Willis previously lived in Yerty's condo prior to their fallout, and the defense hammered her on whether Wade visited the condo prior to the election interference case. But Willis fired back, asserting the defense accusations were all lies. How often did Mr. Wade visit you at a place where you were living between 2019 and 2021? So you want to start with the lie that he lived with me in, in South Fulton in 2019? No. That's not the question she asked. She she just asked a simple question. Did he come visit you? Just answer the question. Home he's never been to? That's one lie you told in Judge, your document. I, no, you, Judge, I didn't ask her about that. Miss um, Merchant, I want you to ask a very... She didn't ask. ...precise question. I think she's saying and answering that he did not live with her. So why don't we break that up into smaller ever. parts? And I, I didn't ask about living. But you put in your, did while we're talking about professionalism, no, while we're talking about professionalism, she put in three different documents well, he lived with me. Full opportunity to respond. In and filed that with the court. In 2019, he's never been. I'm sorry, but can she really bring up professionalism when we're here because she wasn't professional. I'm just saying. To South Fulton. In 2019, I lived in South Fulton. He has never been to my residence in 2019, ever, not once. In 2019, he's never been to your residence, any place. I lived in my home in South Fulton before I started getting the threats that were here, a house I paid for with my own sweat and tears. I'm no longer able to live there. But in 2019, I did. And in the two months of 2019 that I knew Mr. Wade, three months, the beginning of October, all of November, and all of December, Mr. Wade never came to my house in South Fulton. Let me help you out. I lived there in 2020. He never came to my house in 2020, let alone live with me, as you put falsely in these documents. In the first three months of 2021, when I could still enjoy my home, Mr. Wade never came to South Fulton, and it is certainly a lie that he lived with me. Then it came time to question Willis about the vacation. So, yeah, just speaking on the professionalism, you know, she's trying to, you know, poke holes in the prosecutor for them not being professional with putting stuff in the documents, which obviously is wrong. Don't get me wrong, but, you know... You can't be throwing darts if we're here because you're being unprofessional. And, you know, they're going to definitely hit her on the, the, the vacations that her and uh, uh, Nathan Wade was taking and uh, how, you know, she was paying, obviously, from, from paying him, you know, through the taxpayer's money, him buying the vacations and she quote unquote reimbursing him but through cash 
you ahead. went, I'm sorry. But when you went on vacation with Mr. Wayne, um, let's let's just go one by one. Let's um, let's start with the first one. What's the first time you went on vacation with Mr. Wayne? I think the first time we went on vacation was around April of 22, and it's a vacation is a stretch, but I'm trying to be comprehensive. Um, I recall April of 22. His birthday is March the 18th. Um, so that would have been his 49th birthday. Um, I took him to like Tennessee for the day. I think we went to a museum. I think we might have stayed the night. I'm not sure. But I mean, Tennessee is kind of hard to call a vacation, but I just am trying to be inclusive. And it, like I said, I don't think, I know it wasn't more than a day. Um, so you didn't spend the night? I think that we did. That's what I'm telling you. I think that there's a possibility that we stayed that night in April of 22. Who paid for the hotel? I think I did. It was his birthday. When did you start dating? When I started dating Mr. Wade. Mm -hmm. It was right around then. Um, that April 2022? 22. 22, yes. 2022. It was a, around then. I don't know, like, you know, it's not like when you're in grade school and you send a little letter and it says, will you be my girlfriend and you check it. I don't know the day that we started seeing each other, but it was early 22 is my recollection. Okay, early 22. And you all went to Florida on vacation as well? I don't recall going to Florida on vacation with him. You never went to Florida with Mr. Wade? We went to, when we went to get on the cruise ship, we went to Miami. Okay. Miami's in Florida, ma'am. That's the um, only time that you went to Florida with him? I think we went to Miami and spent the night. That's my recollection. I know... I know people that live in Miami think that Miami is its own state, but Miami, <laughs> Miami is in Florida. Okay. I think we spent one night so that we wouldn't miss the ship. That's my recollection of our paid for that hotel. In Miami? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. And how'd you get to Miami? We would have flown. Okay. And we've done that so that I'm clear. We've done that twice. I think one time we stayed, and I honestly can't tell you did we stay when the ship left or did we stay when the ship came back? I also can't tell you. So there's two cruises out of Miami. There's one that's in that October time period that was with his mom. And then there was another that was a New Year's Eve trip. I know I paid for the New Year's Eve trip because the tickets were $6.97 each. And I thought this is ridiculous that the tickets are $700 to go to Miami. But when you travel during New Year's Eve, you know, they get you. Um, so let's let's just back up and talk about the first time that you went to, to Florida with Mr. Wade. Um, that was the time that you said you stayed in Miami at the hotel the first night? That's the time I told you. I am not sure. So I'm not sure of two things. So I want to make sure that my testimony is clear. I'm not sure if we stayed in Miami on the October trip. I'm not sure if we stayed in Miami on the December trip. I just can't remember that. And I also don't remember, so that the record is clear, I don't remember if the necessity was as we got on the ship or we got off the ship. But I do remember there was a night spent in Miami because either whatever. I don't remember. But I think that there was a night spent in Miami. That cruise is um, the one that you took in October, right? Ma'am, I, I, if you have a, a something to refresh my recollection, okay. I'm intentionally trying to not be difficult with you. But I don't want to make up something. Right. I know that on one of those two trips, we <clears throat> stayed in Miami. I am not sure right now. You're asking me about. Oh, I think I'm sorry. You misunderstood. I wasn't asking you which. I was not asking you which night you stayed in Miami. I'm asking if you took a cruise in October 2022 with Mr. Wade. Yes, and his mom. And his mother. That's what I was asking. Yes. Is that the first time you met his mother? Yes. It was on that cruise, and that was Royal Caribbean, I believe. You too. I honestly don't remember what ship. I know. And obviously, she knows how to answer questions. She's not just going to give up information that's not in the documents and I'm pretty sure she's already seen them so we've taken two cruises I don't know what the ships were um but he paid for the flight and the cruise on Royal Caribbean that time so yes he paid he is the original one that does it he has something called Mr. Wade is a world traveler um I'm not as versed as him he's been to six of the seven continents um, and so he has both a personal travel agent and he also has a cruise travel agent 
I don't know anything about either of those kind of travel agents. So he is the one that would book the travel, but we need to be clear when we're talking about just because he booked it doesn't mean, like I don't consider him having taken me any place. Let me just be honest. The only one that's ever taken somebody someplace is for his 50th birthday. I consider that I took him to Belize. And I took him to Belize because, um, you know, I don't want to discuss his personal business, but I'm happy Mr. Wade is still here with us. And I did 50 big, very big. When it came to how Willis reimbursed Wade for the... You see how she threw that soft one in there that, you know, he was going... Because obviously, you know, uh, Nathan Wade is going through uh, a divorce and, you know, she was trying to basically insinuate, it seems like, that he was going through a low and it was possible that he might have almost taken his life or, you know, something around those, you know, terms of, you know, that's why she, you know, went big. Chips together, she responded she always kept cash on her, thanks to a tip she pointed out that she got from her father. Um, and then after that cruise, you all flew to Aruba and spent a couple days in a hotel there, correct? Right, and his mother was not happy. He and initially we paid for that. He initially paid for that. For Aruba, yes ma'am. Okay. So let's talk about both of those. I know he initially paid for it. Did you pay him back? For the cruise and for Aruba. Yeah, I gave him his money before we ever went on that trip. You gave him cash before you ever went on the trip? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so when you got cash to pay him back on these trips, would you go to the ATM? No, lady. You would not go to the ATM? No. Okay. So um, Fulton County pays you direct deposit, I assume? Yes, Fulton okay. County and the uh, state of Georgia both pay me direct deposits. Okay, so the cash that you would pay him, you wouldn't get it out of the bank. I have money in my house. You have money. And she's literally trying to set her up, like, hey, if you if you if you paid him back in cash, then you obviously had to either go to the bank and get a slip, and then that'd be footage that they can get on the surveillance, or ATM, which it'll be a transactional and they can see that. But she's smart. She know what she's doing. In your house. So it was just money that was there. When you meet my father, he's going to tell you as a woman, you should always have, which I don't have, so let's don't tell him that. You should have at least six months in cash at your house at all times. Now, I don't know why this old black man feels like that, but he does. When we were growing up, my daddy had three safes in the house. So my father's bought me a lockbox, and I always keep cash in the house. Now, I don't do it to the degree that my father would do it, so he would probably be uh, ashamed with me, but I always have cash at the house. That has been, I don't know, all my life. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have $200 in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. So I keep cash in my house, and I don't keep cash as good in my purse like I used to. Um, I don't go on many dates, but when you go on a date, you should have cash in your pocket. He's you've never like given it. Mr. Wade money through Cash App. No. The only money you've ever given him outside of a contract is cash. I didn't give him money in a contract, so that was cute, but I didn't give him money outside, uh, in a contract. What happened, is, no, we're going to answer it since you said it. He worked. He worked more hours than he was paid, and the county paid him for the work that he did. So don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer. And I will ask you about the contract in a minute. I asked you about cash. Did you ever pay him anything? And I'm trying to qualify my questions. I'm not talking about the contract with Fulton County that, that was paid. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about outside of that, did you ever pay him anything other than cash? I've only given him cash a few times in, in the course of what we're talking about. So you've never if we would go to dinner, let, him, let her finish her answers. If we would go to dinner, I wouldn't give him <laughs> cash because he paid for dinner or I paid for dinner. I've given him cash only a few times in life, probably four. Okay. Probably the most money I've ever handed him is $2,500. The least amount of money I've handed him, probably between $500 and $1,000. Throughout her testimony, Willis maintained she was not the one on trial. So you're um, Delta records for flights that you may have taken with Mr. Wade. And, well, no, no, no. Look. Uh, I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So 
my question was, do you have any problem? I object to getting any personal records of mine. We're not dealing with privilege through a witness. And I'm not, no, 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 I'm not dealing with privilege. What um, we had offered to put them in camera for the court to review, and I just want to know if she has any That's problem. That's not something to do with a witness. Willis said she and Wade's relationship ended, but the two remained friends and professional. So I, I think overall that uh, she she came in there very feisty, and I do understand. Like I said, I do understand her defense of coming in there because of you know the prosecutor is gonna you know try to hit her hard and and put little jabs in there, of course, to um, to help their case try to throw you know. Uh, her off the basically for a mistrial um is basically what they're trying to get to and i understand her her intense her intensity but i still say that the the biggest issue for me um and you know let me know what you think is is her going to the church and trying to defend herself and speak up for herself inside of the church, knowing that she was wrong. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all think. Um, if she was out of bounds or if she was in in her right to act the way that she act. Somewhat in the courtroom, I can see that, but you 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 can't say that she's justified in the church. Uh, let me know what you think. But if you're still here, uh, thank you so much for joining this episode of the wrap up podcast. I hope you enjoyed the video and the content. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, please let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and stay updated on all the future episodes. Um, before we sign off, I want to leave you with a little something. Um, in all your endeavors, remember to put God first, stay grounded and stay blessed. Life is a journey. And with faith, we can navigate through anything. Until next time, take care, stay inspired and keep wrapping up those amazing moments in your life. This is Lenny B. Signing off from the Wrap Up Podcast. God bless and catch you in the next one. Peace. No pressure. Look how God done bless you. Wonder why I'm feeling extra. Say what it do, what the business is Folk run up, run up, over what the devil sin Shoes, pants, chest, shoulders Get up, off me, don't get closer It ain't over, tell us over Game breaker, big joke It's a whole lot of flexing going on Feel like I could walk on water, lemon pepper, stepper zone We was really down bad, told my mama not for long Held and thought they got another one, we know they got it wrong And another thing, hold up now we don't wrestle with flesh and blood I was out here wildin', ain't the same way that I was Tapping when I pray, I'm tapping like I know the blood Back up with the hate respectfully, it's all in love Hairline check, fade check The only chains ain't broken is the ones that's on my neck The coldest with some boldness got me flowing with the vets It's all there, ain't no need to second guess mm -hmm. Yes. No pressure, look how God done bless you Wonder why I'm feeling extra Say what it do, what the business is Folk runner, running over what the devil sin Shoes, pants, chest, shoulders Get up off me, don't get closer It ain't over, tell us over Game breaker, big joke Jesus like don't trip, finna make the boat tip Set the tone with that ice cold, but I won't slip In my back like, wait in my bag like road trip, switch dance, do my dance, dog. He really don't miss. I don't need a crystal less it's hot sauce, brother. And I ain't gotta sell my soul just to pop off, brother. Ain't no demon time when you anoint it. I keep it regal like movies and hop out like I'm getting dropped off, brother. Hey, smelling brand new. 
we don't rock with the flakes, call me shampoo. We just tryna spread that light, bring them lamps through. Mm-hmm. It's got me thinking that it's nothing that I can't do. Feeling like the sand too. We just out here praising God, looking fly, you know, regular day. No pressure, look how God done bless you. Uh-huh. Wonder why I'm feeling extra. Uh-huh. Say what it do, what the business is. Folk runner, running over what the devil sin. Shoes, pants, chest, shoulders. Get up. Off me, don't get closer. It ain't over. Tell us over. Game break. Big show. Dog, listen. Let's hear all these giggles, guys.